analytics panel. We have Aaron Elmore, Brianna Lyman, and Matthew Foldy. Uh, Bianca is here as well, of course, and we'll have worse takes from everybody in a second. But I'll start with mine, guys. I'm going to go with San Francisco allowing robots to kill people. <laughs> Seems like a bad idea. San Francisco, of course, becoming the first U.S. city to allow police robots to kill suspects. To you and your worst take, uh, it involves the New York Times. Apparently, they had to change a headline this week uh, dealing with sure Balenciaga. Did. What do you got for us? Yeah, I mean, the New York Times and their headline is my worst take of the week regarding the Balenciaga scandal. They had to change the headline, but they said when high fashion and QAnon collide. So the left that is promoting kitty drag shows, the left that is wanting us to call pedophiles minor attracted persons, look, these people want us to cross the line. They are the ones that are pushing the envelope and not protecting our children. And they go as far as to blame QAnon for what Balenciaga did and say it's a conspiracy theory. No, the writing was on the wall with what they did. It was very transparent in every possible way. Balenciaga had little kids in ads with the Supreme Court case that basically overturned portions of child pedophilia law. So you know what? The New York Times really did have a terrible take here for blaming QAnon for Balenciaga when it's black and white that they were trying to harm our children and we've got to put a stop to this. And the only place that QAnon really exists anymore is in the minds of Democrats and in mainstream media. No one really talks about it seriously. Mm -hmm. All right, Brianna, you're up. Your worst take was CNN's Don Lemon saying the liberal, the network was never liberal. Let's take a look. Yeah. Word on the street is that you guys aren't allowed to be liberal anymore. Is that is that the case? I don't think we ever were liberal. What? Of support for kids in this country is only going to grow bigger. Absolutely. And I think Balenciaga really woke a lot of parents up and they said, wait a minute, what's going on? I said to my husband a couple of years ago, the left is trying to normalize pedophilia. And he said, what are you even talking about? And now we're realizing that this is true for so many reasons, like Gus Gon releasing people and the minor attracted persons and the Balenciaga ad and various other things. So I think this is just one of those first aha moments for people that aren't paying as close attention as we are. And hopefully this will shed some light on how much we really need to protect our children and protect our families. Yeah, I mean, the most pure, the most innocent people yeah. in our entire society, we cannot let that fall. We as adults and as humans cannot uh, let this continue on in this path. It is so dangerous mm -hmm. and, and just heartbreaking, really. Yeah. yeah. Well, we got a little heavy there. We don't like to do that normally in this, type of, this time of the show, but we're going to lighten the mood a little yes. bit more. We got some memes to play for you coming up. Meme team is right around the corner. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. Aaron's microphone back. Yeah. Aaron, what do you got for us? So yes, we're going to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I just caught up in their reunion. Crystal Kong Minkoff is one of the woke liberals on the show that's such a hypocrite. And she criticized Kathy Hilton for wanting to listen to Michael Jackson. Now, Michael Jackson has never been convicted of a crime. God rest his soul. She said that we shouldn't listen to Michael Jackson because of the crimes that he's committed. Well, if we're going to start vilifying music musicians, R. Kelly, and I've also found out that a lot of 70s rock stars from Iggy Pop to Elvis to Mick Jagger to Sonny Bono to even Anthony Kiedis had very inappropriate relationships with young girls. So we're going to have nothing left to listen to if we listen to The Real Housewives. Additionally, <laughs> let's really keep an eye on this pedophilia in Hollywood yes, and try to put an end to it because we got to protect our children and not idealize these rock stars. We can listen to their music, but we shouldn't listen to the way they live their lives. All right, let's get